In today's video, I'm going to show you a brilliant time-saving tip in Xero. It's how to bulk code bank transactions on your bank reconciliation. What we're going to use is cash coding and you do need to have advisor status to have this available. Okay, let's head into Xero and take a look. We're on our dashboard, we're about to reconcile our bank and we can see that we have 40 transactions to reconcile. Now, I do like to keep my reconciliation up to date, but there will be times when you have 40 transactions to reconcile. You might even find times when you've got lots more than 40 to reconcile. When you have loads to reconcile, I'm going to show you this wonderful time-saving tip. So we're going to click on reconcile and then you might not have noticed before but there is this option called cash coding and that's where we're going to go and what you have on your screen resembles a spreadsheet and the idea is and I've seen this being used when you've got a year's transactions to deal with at once what you want to do is you want to find all the similar transactions put them together and code them at once and you can decide for yourself the easiest way to group your transactions. So we can see there are two of the corner stores and we can see there are quite a few bank charges. And then I'm also going to show you the ones at the end, these payments to individuals, these are wage payments. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to sort by description. If anything is in blue, you can sort by it. So if I sort by description, some of them don't have descriptions, but I will find all my bank charges together. I'm going to go to the left. I'm going to tick them to select. Then I'm going to go to the account code and watch what happens. I'm going to search, pick up bank fees. I'm going to tab through that and you can see that every line that I've selected is now going to be coded to bank fees. There's no pay being added, so if I head here, I might want to put the name of my bank, fill that in. Again, I want to tab off this field and it fills it in again for all of the transactions. Double check that I'm happy with what I have here. Then I can scroll down and choose Save and Reconcile Selected. And Zero's told me six transactions have been saved and reconciled. I say OK. So anything that's in blue, I can sort by. So let's sort by the pay. And let's look at this 7-Eleven. We've got two 7-Eleven transactions and they've already been coded for us. Let me show you why that is. If we go back to the Reconcile tab and if we scroll down, we find a 7-Eleven transaction and what we can see over on the right is there is a bank rule set up for this transaction. So we could select OK here and then we'll continue and we'd find the second one. But I think you'll agree with me that the cash coding would actually be quicker. Again, it depends on the number of transactions you have. So a reminder, we sorted by P. We're going to choose the two 7-Elevens and this time we don't need to do anything because the rules done it for us. We've just selected them and we're going to say save and reconcile and OK. Be careful because we cannot undo. So you're working through your huge list of transactions, trying to group them and make the reconciliation much quicker. What else can we deal with? Well, we could see we've got another couple of bank fees. So again, we will select the two of them. We've already got the payee. We don't need a reference. We've got the description. We're going to go to the account again, search or type in bank fees, tab off the field. Both of them now have the code bank fees, save and reconcile. I'm going to do one more. Let's say we sort by date. And if we went to the bottom, the last transactions here are payment of wages. I'm going to choose them again. There's five of them. Now the payee must be the same. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm just going to say it's a payment to one of my employees. Again, I'm going to tab off that field or I could hit the enter. 
Take me off that field and it's filled in employees for each of the five transactions. I need to code it. If I went to save and reconcile without coding, zero says we can't do anything. Back to the account, I search for wages payable, or if I know the code, which I do, it's 814. Select it, tab off that field. The same code is there for every transaction. And again, finish off by choosing save and reconcile. So I'm sure you will agree with me that it's a much quicker way to reconcile your transactions if you have loads of them to deal with. You do need to be careful because you can't undo and you do need to have advisor status in zero. But that is cash coding. Until next time, happy zeroing.